day to you ladies and gentlemen welcome back to our channel Juan Guhit our email address is surigaosan2019 at gmail.com don't forget it write it down our topic for today is all about Western art when we talk about Western art we will talk about the Greeks and the Roman art the Greek period in art history took place from about 800 BC to 50 BC began in the Cycladic and Minoan prehistorical civilization and gave birth to Western classical art in the ancient period the Acropolis meaning the metropolitan the big city a sacred hill in Athens Greece that rises from some 500 feet above the surrounding city it is covered with buildings temples and statues and intended to be a tribute to the gods and placed at high on the land so they could be closer this is the picture of it the Acropolis the Parthenon the most famous tourist attraction in Greece the Parthenon is the is a temple dedicated or tribute to the Olympian god Zeus it is one of the Greek greatest contribution in architecture an example of this would be the Parthenon it took 10 years to build in this massive structure that sits atop the Acropolis and the purpose is that of a temple this is the picture of the Parthenon tribute to the god Zeus still standing today the three orders of Greek decorative style what are those okay the first is the Doric Doric style in architecture it is a massive post or column simple heavy column without a base topped by a plain capital that has no ornamentation number two order the Ionic style used an elaborate base and capital in the form of scroll it was the second of the three styles developed during the Greek period the Corinthian style is the third most elaborate style among the three orders it composed of leaves flowers bacanthus and it is very detailed decorative capital the Corinthian order now let's talk about the Greek sculpture three distinct periods in Greek sculpture the archaic period the classical period and the Hellenistic period where oriental people mixed together with Western people in Greece their art combined together that is why it is called Hellenistic period the Greek Greek painting the ancient Greeks love color at one time most of the sculptures were painted in bright and vivid colors and layered in gold over time this has worn away but there are some that are still found with traces of faded color unfortunately most of the paintings and wall murals have been destroyed over the years just like this one it's a mural been destroyed also Greeks are famous and good for vase making like this 
but I guess Chinese Orientals artisan are much better than the Greek when it comes to vase making. Greek vase decoration. Okay, now let's go to the Roman art. The Romans are called the greatest imitator to the Greeks. They copied their literature, even the name of the planets was changed. Even the greatest epic story, the Iliad and the Odyssey, was changed to I need in the Roman literature. So this period lasted from approximately 100 BC to 380. Roman architecture. One of the Romans' biggest contribution was in architecture, especially bridges, aqueducts, and the Roman arc. Example of their architecture style can be seen all over Eastern Europe like basilicas are big churches huge gigantic churches called basilicas were roman designed rectangular buildings like this one see the proportion of humans to the column in my estimation the ceiling to the ground ground to the ceiling the height must be 20 meters in meters all right that's about uh, three stories in today's modern building the height of ground to the ceiling Romans are famous for triumphal arc radiating arc windows and gates which is constructed in arc the pantheon the pantheon is the most beautiful dome designed building in roman architecture this is the interior of it of the pantheon it consists of a roof called the doom make that the dome the dome is half of a circle another a beautiful building designed by the Romans was called the Colosseum like this so many Hollywood movies was shot in here like the enter the dragon Van Damme's movies, Bruce Lee's movies was shot in here. This is called the Colosseum or sometime called the Amphitheater. The Triumphal Arc is just like a commemorative building dedicated to all the generals that are triumphal, that are tri the triumph in war so this is serve as the reward their name and status will be put on top of it that's why it is called triumphal arc for triumph triumphant until now in rome in italy there is still triumphal arc exist became a heritage buildings aqueduct system was a marble in roman engineering during the time they serve as dam uh, that supplies water to the city using the gravity to make the water flow from the mountain using the construction uses arcs like this one to make the structure light they constructed a series of arc that is called arcade from top 
small arcs and then bigger diameter of arc in the lower portion on top of this here is where the water flow from the mountain going to the big city called the Acropolis Roman sculpture and painting Roman were so good in sculpture and painting portrait sculptures like this human size sculpture looks so fantastic made in marble stone mural paintings also like Leonardo da Vinci did the greatest mural of all time when he painted the Last Supper the Last Supper with Jesus and Mary Magdalene according to the conspiracy theory that in the painting the Last Supper Mary is just beside Jesus when they are having the Last Supper okay that's a brief presentation hope you like it guys and don't forget to answer my questions after this video I will post some question and of course most important thing is to let me know that you exist just click subscribe the red button and make always a comment in every videos that you watch so I will notice that you are watching it okay so stay home stay safe God bless and see you next time bye